like a good smile. Hey, Molly. Do you know the muffin man? Hey, you just about ate my muffin. You take the GoPro. You protect my muffin. Yeah. 100%. That's going to be hard. Onion tomato plants looking good. Molly's got to run me into work here today because uh, my dad tilled late into the night and had the pickup truck that I had, which I don't have my pickup truck because it's on the corn buggy. So I took a different truck home and then he ended up wanting that truck, so I am truckless. The hay is still coated. <laughs> So this row unit here broke. I think it's been welded on before, but this cross member right here, it actually holds the top of the box on, which is uh, that guy right there with the latch. I gotta tear this down and uh, put a new row unit on it so that it can go planting. Since I gotta tear the row unit down and I didn't get a chance to this spring because the way everything just started like go, I still had two precision planting solution arms oh my gosh are heavy this is a good thing on my shelf so we're gonna put those on i am not sponsored by these guys i actually met them in louisville these arms especially on these older planters are 100 percent worth it um you can ream them out yourself and stuff after doing that last year i recommend just buy these arms they're heavier than the normal arms. They're welded really nice. Good stuff. Check them out. Let them know I sent you too. So like I said, not sponsored by them, but just uh, father-son do. Run, builds those, I believe. Pretty cool. Okay, we're back together. Keen eyes will probably notice that we actually didn't get those uh, arms put onto that. That outside unit actually needs some special stuff for how it all goes together, because that's actually the oddball unit on this planter. Need to get some of that ordered for that row unit. I think I actually got a kit for it, I'm not sure. But we didn't get it on there. Uh, we got three tenths of rain to the south, but we got basically nothing to the north, and we've got 70 acres of beans left to plant up north. So I'm gonna run up there, try and get that planted. Andrew's gonna come tend for me. And I think Dad's gonna go do a loop and check out the rest of the fields south towards Centerville, that area. See if there's anything else that might be able to work here today. See if we can get some more corn planted maybe this evening. There's a good breeze and the sun's out. The ground might dry up. It was pretty bone dry. We'll see. But right now, down the road. So beans are going in, but I'm gonna be short-lived here in this tractor. Dad went and looked at the, the ground there. It's right off of actually Highway 2. 
uh, said it's good to go. And then Andrew's actually gonna go take off and do tillage. We're doing a big roll reversal here. My dad's coming to take over the 8110. He's gonna continue planting soybeans. He's gonna be tendering himself, which is fine because actually I just blew a box out. So we're gonna go fill the planter up for him. I've got uh, 27 acres done, so a third of this field. I've got uh, 160 acres tilled in front of me, so I can get that done today. Yeah, it's gonna be probably 2.30 or better by the time I actually get to planting though. Okay, back over here to plant. You can tell we got a little wet here. This is gonna plant really nice now that it's got a, a rain on top of it, a little crusty on the top. Good planting stuff, two thumbs up. All right, we gotta put the rest of this uh, trial in here today without plugging it. Plugging not an option. this thing either. I gotta remove my rain cover here. Don't let me forget we need to get a bag and a half of seed of the out from that one. Okay I was wrong. It's dang near four o'clock. Classic YouTube oil check. Yep, there's oil. You can do it! You can do it! Good job, Bubba. Oh, you just love a beeping. city and we carpool you can just drive me to work every day i can sell one of the other vehicles we don't need we don't need another vehicle you can just except your work is almost always in the opposite direction of my work but it works so it's not think of all the gas that we're saving really we're say we're saving all you this are gas. Making me use more gas no no yeah. we're being economically minded people today no i don't think so i think we will continue this trend for the rest of the week I also learned to make bre a breakfast that you don't like so that, so that say, I won't eat so it. you won't eat it. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do this morning is work on my seeding plan. It's actually been going really good. I've been able to keep placing the hybrids where I want to place the hybrids. So over just using a pro box and placing the pro box, fill the planter and then go plant until that's out. And just like that, we got all the seed that we need for the day. Checking the fluids on the blue tractor. Good. Good. Let's go. It's the ones that are, it's, there's one bridge that has like metal tops to it. That's the one I do not want to go on. Which one's that? I think that's the Jerome. That's the Jerome one. I think. On, on, PTO, Morley Burrs, Primer Seed Meters, Boom. Oh. Roll. I had a rooty and it's not planting, which doesn't really surprise me after sitting last night. And I found a couple of things. I was about to really have not a good day. I go, uh, I'll show you here. Get over here in a little better spot to work on this thing. It don't look tweaked in the air. Bet I got a bad bushing in this one something a year or two ago i had one of these row units slip off the side of the rock and the whole thing torqued but uh here's where my day was about to go no bueno 
I'm real close to losing that pen. Real close. I call Andrew, have him come up here and look at this with me for a second. He's just filling up, finishing up tilling this field actually, so he's luckily here. He's about ready to take off and go do the next field. Oh, it's broken. Where? Right there. That'd be it. Andrew's gonna finish tilling. I'm gonna go after parts. Then he's gonna take off to the next field and I'll probably just meet him there and pick him up and then we'll try and get this thing going. Before I can do that though, I gotta figure out what the size of this pin is. There we go, there's the size of my pin. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, send that pin back home. I figured you jinxed it and you said, this is gonna be the easy one. See, I can do that because I got the coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should be. Bender. So what we got going on here now is that normally if we wanted to change these parallel arms, I just set it on the ground and then you can just drop one off, uh, put a new one on, not a big deal. The issue is, is that we can't set this one on the ground because it's in between the two tires and uh, so it needs to be up in the air, but how are we gonna support it? And Andrew came up with the idea of maybe just ratchet strapping it and we might ratchet strap it up there. So Kenzie, if you're watching this and it's a big no-no, close your eyes. But we're gonna try and get creative on how we can change this parallel arm. Guess is is that this broke when I was no tilling into some stuff yesterday. That'd be my guess. Oh, I don't know. There's not much yeah, there wouldn't be any like rocks or you know buried buildings or anything in that like five acre patch. Was there? No, 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 none there, none there. Most of. Because we give this credit of a bright idea to Andrew, he also is the one that gets to Sitting sit up. underneath it. <laughs> I had that for a before we, I came up with that idea. Have you heard that? That is true. <laughs> Ready? There. Okay. Well, we can deal with that. If you never got out and walked around your planter <laughs> to inspect things, you'd never find anything broken so you never have to fix it right yeah we gotta make sure them wires um, are on the inside of it yeah. on this one here just a little bit put it on this okay is that one that oh you got your toe under it yep got my might drop a little bit. So we're back together. I'm pretty proud of that one. I was, that, was that could, simple. yeah, simple. that could have been a lot more difficult. So row, so 12, 13, 14, 15, um, Make sure to check it for seed air. You remember, just yep. try not to shoot it into my truck. <laughs> the window, if it hits the truck, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. And then uh, I'll set it down, and you just have to look at me. And when I set it down, I'll hit the prime button, and this chain will spin. Mm -hmm. And then we gotta make sure that this jumper chain spins it. So, because that's the real clutch right there. Okay. I don't know. I, I looked at everything else and it might be a seed flow issue. It wouldn't surprise me if it's a seed flow issue, but I messed with the seed flow like two or three times.
Looks like we're back in action. We gotta actually stop and run Andrew uh, to go get a vehicle so he can keep tilling. But we're good. We're back going. Three acres planted today. One o'clock. Woo! Go on. Show them what we uh, broke. I don't know if we've done that or not. No. That's a chitin down there. Show them that. I don't know if they got a clear shot of that. There you go. Solid shaft. Snapped her. It's been, part of it's been broke for a while by the look of it. Yeah, rusty. Yeah. Back up to the tender here. Without hitting it. I like it. Right there. Yep, you gotta make sure you put that in neutral. Do not back up with that in the ground. You'll be unplugging double disc openers for a week. She empty. Tuesday, May 17th. We got right in the old planting diary here. What kind of keep track of everything that I do. write myself notes that way I can remember. How do you guys keep track of it? Yeah, I got like everything in the monitor, but once uh, I have to pull it out of the monitor, but the monitor doesn't keep track, or I could keep track of um, just like little notes that I write. So I legal pad it. It's starting to look like we might get wet. What am I doing here? 30 acres an hour. I'm not going to make this one. I need another two hours. I've got maybe an hour. That whole 10 mile an hour thing would be pretty nice right now. It's a half planted field, but I guess this time of year that bugs me when it gets rained on halfway through a field. Breakdown cost us there. Um, even though we did a pretty good job of repairing that, it's uh, still cost us. Probably cost us getting that field done, but that field will plant really darn nice once uh, it gets a nice little rain on it. So it'll mellow it out, put a little crust on it. Hopefully, we could take a little bit of rain and still. Be in the field probably not tomorrow but the next day so it'd be okay sounds like corn's made it up in five days so you guys will see that in the next video uh like always if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to the channel uh welcome along type of thing and uh these are just more vlog style so we'll get back to videos with like a dedicated purpose here at some point we're about 75 percent done with corn 65 70 percent done with beans depends on what dad got done here today so like always we'll see you in the next one peace out Where's my lunchbox you know where my lunchbox is nope man where's my lunchbox <laughs> oh it's behind the graphite doing oh. that for later <laughs>